Hey everybody, it's John again with another drive-by devotional. All right, let's talk a little bit of Jesus. Matthew 24 talks about the end times, the entire chapter. Among other things, it talks about the love of people getting cold. It says, because of iniquity, the love of many will wax cold. However, those that endure shall be saved. Important to note that saved in Greek doesn't speak about eternal salvation. It can, but that is really more of a modern Christian term to say I'm saved. The term saved in Greek means delivered. Delivered from danger and harm. And so when it says that the love of many shall wax cold, but those that endure shall be saved, it's saying that there will be some people in those days that do not allow themselves to lose love. They won't stop loving. And they won't stop hating people simply because things don't go their way and simply because the world is going evil and simply because they have different political views or, or religious, the, theological views. All right, now, what we're seeing nowadays is a lot of tension, a lot of hate, even by Christians towards other Christians and just towards the world. You see a lot of legalism, a lot of religion, a lot of hatred, and it is, of course, coming at us. I mean, you can't deny that. However, we cannot allow ourselves to grow bitter. We cannot allow ourselves to lose our love. Love, by definition, does what is best, not what is wanted. So, first, we need to do and think with the mind of God. What is best for the world around us? Well, the world around us doesn't need more morals. It doesn't need more laws. It needs more Jesus. It needs us to love. It needs us to not give in to the hatred. It needs us to be a light in the darkness because if every single person in this world goes crazy and it looks like they are and every single person gives in to their emotions and their hatred well guess what the world is going to destroy itself simply by loving people with the love of God even if they hate us right because Jesus says uh, love them that despitefully use you because even unbelievers love people that love them so if you want to change the world if you want to make a difference what we need to do is not allow ourselves to grow cold because the very following passage in Matthew 24 says that the gospel will be preached in all the world. What this means is that there will be some form of revival. At least, I'm going to be honest, this is how I understand it. A revival based upon the love of God. And those that endure and don't allow their hearts to grow cold will be a part of that revival. Those that allow their hearts to be cold, well, they may still be saved. I mean, I don't believe you can do the salvation. But it's like being on a team. You may get the championship ring, but you're going to be riding the bench. And so let's change the world. We don't need to change the world by telling people how wrong they are and how terrible they are. You change the world and make a difference by loving people with the love of Christ. And how do we do that? We just let ourselves be loved. When that love whoop, fills you up and boom, it's going to explode right out of you because you can't hold it in anymore. And then you're going to change the world. God bless, my friend. And I'll see you later.